just in, the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is really, really good at what he does. It comes as no surprise, Patrick Mahomes is one of the best of his generation, and the win over the Tennessee Titans is proof of that. Here are three crazy Patrick Mahomes stats from the Chiefs' recent win, and one cool number from Travis Kelsey. Stay tuned as we get right into it. First up, Patrick Mahomes' stats against the Titans. Third and two out of the gun, Mahomes underneath, Juju Smith-Schuster into the secondary. This isn't exactly news, but Mahomes has once again shown that he might just be the greatest of all time. The Chiefs beat the Titans 20-17 in overtime at Arrowhead Stadium on Sunday. Mahomes alone contributed to the win with 43 of 68 passes for 446 yards, one touchdown, and one pick. He also ran the ball six times, gaining 63 yards, scoring a touchdown, and adding two points. His total yards were 509, and the Chiefs' net yards were 499. Yes, Mahomes had 10 more yards than the team because sack yards aren't counted towards the total yards gained. Mahomes accounted for 80% of his team's total passing yards and 80% of his team's total rushing yards in a game with a minimum of 50 rushing yards. OptiStats said that no quarterback at the time of the Super Bowl had ever done both in the same game before. NFL research says that Mahomes is the first player since the Super Bowl started to throw for at least 400 yards and a touchdown pass while also running for at least 60 yards and scoring a touchdown in the same game. It was the fifth time in a row that Mahomes led the Chiefs to a win after they were down at halftime, and the second time in Mahomes' career that he has done this. Apart from him, only Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning has had two streaks of five or more games as a quarterback since the Super Bowl started. Third and nine, Mahomes gets out. Mahomes on the run. Next up, Mahomes' outrageous plays from the match. He gets to take off himself. Can he get there? Oh, he did! Mahomes to midfield! Patrick Mahomes in the bright spotlight during primetime, and you're definitely getting a great show. Sunday was no exception because the Chiefs quarterback was business as usual. He lit up the Titans with 43 of 68 passes for 446 yards and a touchdown. And he also ran six times for 63 yards and a touchdown. His pass attempts were tied for the third most in an NFL regular season game. There was no stopping this guy. But the numbers don't tell the whole story of what he did in Kansas City's 20-17 overtime win. The full Mahomes experience can't be summed up by just the stats alone. You need to see the plays he made. Mahomes on the run. Will he run for it? He'll go to the pylon and tie the game! Let's talk about Mahomes' passing. Mahomes throwing underneath Derek McKinnon the catch to the 15-yard line. Mahomes made it hard for the Titans' defense to stop him from scrambling to give his receivers time to get open, especially in overtime. With 7.04 left in overtime, the Chiefs were facing a third and one at the Titans' 49-yard line. Mahomes rolled out to his right and was chased towards the sideline by Walker. Walker was waving his hands in the air to stop Mahomes from throwing it downfield. But Mahomes got around Walker and threw a long pass down the field to Gray, who made a great catch on his end. The ball went 27 yards to the Titans' 22. Even though the Chiefs didn't score a touchdown on that drive, they did kick the field goal that won the game. Next-gen stats showed that before Mahomes threw the ball, he had run for 26.5 yards. There's a reason why scrambling Mahomes is usually bad news for the defense. Not just that, Mahomes also made a 31-yard pass in the fourth quarter. He is, after all, one of the best passers in the league. He's a star because he has a good arm and can make almost any throw fit into a small space. On their second drive, the Chiefs showed off their ability to pass. On third and seven at the Kansas City 47, Mahomes stood in the pocket and threw a quick pass to Watson down the left sideline. The result was a back shoulder pass that went for 31 yards and put the Chiefs at the Titans 22. On this drive, the Chiefs would score their first touchdown and go up 9-0. At the five, to the goal line, in for the touchdown! Followed by Mahomes' dashes. Mahomes! Mahomes' 63 rushing yards were a career high, but his touchdown scramble on the game's tying dive was arguably the most important play of the day. On third and nine from Tennessee's 14, with the Chiefs under pressure, Mahomes spotted a hole in the Kansas City defense and sprinted through it. Jeffrey Simmons, a Pro Bowl defensive tackle, was closing in on the seven, but Mahomes dodged his attempt to make a tackle. The 6'2", 225-pound quarterback then decided to charge into the end zone, crashing into the 5'11", 191-pound corner, Terrence Mitchell. Mahomes later scrambled for a two-point conversion 
conversion, tying the game at 17 for the Chiefs. The touchdown play was exceptionally challenging. Next Gen Stats indicated that Mahomes' chance of scoring while on the move was only 13.6%, but he did. Mahomes made another rush, this time in the fourth quarter, with just 7-11 remaining of the overtime. The Chiefs were down by 8 points and faced a 4th and 17 from their own 31. Mahomes took a look at the field from the pocket. With no obvious way out, he began to panic as Mario Edwards Jr. approached. The quarterback, Mahomes, made a rightward dash and then took off. However, Kristen Fulton brought him down after he had gained 20 yards. David Long Jr. had already tried to tackle Fulton with a diving tackle, and Simmons had tried to grab him, but to no avail. But Mahomes wasn't the only one in the spotlight. Travis Kelsey also pulled one in the game. Minute 20 left, second and five. Mahomes comes back to Kelsey, who's got that first down. Moving on to, Kelsey ties with Gronkowski. Even though the Chiefs won, their offense was sometimes all over the place. But one thing was always the same, Travis Kelsey's play. The future Hall of Famer Kelsey once again caught a pass for more than 100 yards. In the end, he caught 10 passes for 106 yards. It was the 32nd time in his pro career that he caught a pass for more than 100 yards. ESPN Stats and Info reported that it's tied for the most by a tight end in NFL history with Rob Gronkowski. It was a bit surprising that the Titans didn't make things easy for the Chiefs. Tennessee's defense was one of the worst in the NFL before Sunday night's game. Still, they kept Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and the rest of the Chiefs' offense from scoring for seven straight plays. That is tied for Mahomes most as a professional. The Titans were in front for most of the game, and Derrick Henry was their leader. Henry ran for 115 yards and two touchdowns, putting Tennessee ahead 17-9. Anytime you let Mahomes stay in the field for the whole game, he will wear you down, and that's exactly what he did. As the game went on, he found big completions with Kelsey, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Noah Gray. The Chiefs had 499 yards at the end, while the Titans only had 229 yards. With the win, their 6-2 record tied the Buffalo Bills for the best in the AFC. With all that, it's no surprise that NFL Twitter was excited and amazed by the Chiefs, but the buzz was mostly about Patrick Mahomes. Go, go. Wait, wait. 24 Mahomes is pressured. Lastly, NFL Twitter speaks up. On Sunday night, Patrick Mahomes gave the Kansas City Chiefs the will to beat the Tennessee Titans in overtime. The star quarterback was on all the Titans' nerves. His total number of yards was tied for the third highest of his career. Mahomes was good through the air, but he may have been at his best on the ground. Even though the Titans seemed strong in the second half, keeping the Chiefs at bay, Mahomes was at his best on the drive that tied the game. In overtime, Mahomes led Kansas City on a 13-play, 64-yard drive that ended with a Harrison Butker field goal from 28 yards out. The most crucial play occurred when Mahomes had to scramble for what seemed like an eternity before finding the tight end. Noah Gray made a huge gain down the field. After two sacks put the Titans 16 yards behind the original line of scrimmage in overtime, they lost the ball on downs, which ended the game. Analysts and fans were again amazed by Mahomes' magic during and after the game, with some calling him the MVP so far. Steve Ruiz, an NFL writer for Ringer, tweeted that Mahomes is the MVP without a doubt. Many would agree with him that the quarterback was virtually unstoppable. Some fans even called him the fastest four point eight guy in the history of the NFL. Many fans were left in shock after the star quarterback's outrageous performance. Some even called it unreal. We can't blame them for thinking that way. Mahomes did set some great records in that game. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Patrick Mahomes will be able to keep his brilliant form? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.